Come here, son. And then three major tremors over a three-hour period. The biggest, oh a magnitude 6.9. Oh, my God. The seismic activity began on Monday when the crater floor of the Pu'uo'o, a volcanic cone on the Kilauea, started to collapse. Lava flowed into newly created underground chambers. That lava, along with ash, rocks and toxic gas, is now being spewed into the air and coming up through the earth. Whoa. Kilauea is one of the world's most active volcanoes. Volcanologists say it was never a question of when, but where the volcano might erupt. What's different this time is that a new fissure has appeared much farther down the mountain. The challenge with this activity is um, the fact that it occurred in a populated area. Now the question is, will it stay in that area? Will it move to another part of the, part of the volcano and how long will it last? Officials ordered at least 1,700 people to leave their homes, including everyone in the town of Pahoa. Residents are familiar with the dangers. Four years ago, Kilauea's lava flow stopped just short of the town. Experts say the gases and ash are highly toxic. Kilauea has been erupting on and off for 35 years. Experts say it's difficult to predict how long this eruption will last. 